Most people think that albinism looks like this. But I'm here to tell you that albinism can actually look like this. You may be more familiar with the term albino, which is used to describe someone born with albinism. But it's not all about pale skin, red eyes and white hair. Albinism is a rare congenital condition which affects an estimated 1 in 18 to 20,000 people. Those born with albinism have a lack of melanin, which is the chemical that creates pigment. So the more melanin you have, the darker your hair, skin and eyes will be. Unfortunately, having less melanin means it's easier to burn in the sun and more likely to cause visual defects like nystagmus. Nystagmus is when the muscles in your eyes are weak and it becomes harder to remain focused. This causes your eyes to shake and can make you look very suspicious, which is something people have pointed out to me in the past. It's not always easy to spot albinism as it comes in many different forms and severities. Many white parents won't know their child is born with albinism till they're old enough to describe what they can see or are learning to read and write and they realise they are struggling. But if you're all of Asian descent like me, well, it's pretty easy to tell in the delivery room. There are downsides to having albinism. Because there are so many different types, it can be hard to find the help you need. I'm not able to drive, so this limits my independence, and I find it hard to read, which slows me down and can be really frustrating. Even though there are downsides, albinism is part of who I am. It's made me stronger, and I'm really proud of all the things I have achieved.